everyone, my name is Frankie Santel and I'm a dietetic intern for the Indiana University of Pennsylvania. We all enjoy eating many different foods, but did you know that each food belongs to a different food group? Each food group plays a very important role in what a well-balanced meal contains. Before I get started with my lesson, I'd like to address to the parents. Food sorting is important to children because the right mix of foods helps for them to be healthier now and in the future. This is because when a child learns dietary habits in their childhood, it carries into their adulthood. Also, eating the food groups should be applied at home in order for your child to have a healthy lifestyle, maintain healthy weight, reduce risk of chronic disease, promote overall health. By taking steps to eating healthy, your child is on their way to be a healthy, strong, and active individual. The materials needed for this lesson are attached. Please print out the food sort worksheet, print the My Healthy Plate worksheet, the food cutouts, and crayons or other coloring utensils may be needed. Directions, print food sort worksheet, print My Healthy Plate worksheet, print and cut out the food cutouts, have crayons or other coloring utensils ready for the children to use. For the next part of this lesson, I'd like for the parents to, to direct the attention to the children. Hi everyone, if you haven't heard already, my name is Frankie Santel and I'm a dietetic intern. What will we be learning about today? Well, one, we'll be learning about the colors associated with food, matching foods to the right group, and how to complete a well-balanced meal. If you need to, use this slide to color in the foods for your food cutouts. Now let's look at the first food group, vegetables. There is a variety of vegetables, but here are a handful. Peppers, broccoli, lettuce, eggplant, carrots, onions, corn, peas, avocado, and parsnips. Now let's look at our food cutouts and see if we can identify any vegetables. If needed, take the time to pause the video to color in the foods that belong to the food group we just learned about before we move on to the food sort worksheet. If you see this symbol again, just know it's a pausing moment for coloring. Now let's put the vegetables on their food sort worksheet. If you said potato, avocado, peas, broccoli, onion, carrots, eggplant, corn, or parsnip, you're correct. Now let's look at the next food group, fruits. Some examples of fruits are apples, bananas, pears, lemons, oranges, blueberry, pineapples, cherries, strawberries, watermelon, and tomato. Let's go back to our food cutouts and see if we can identify any fruits. Of your food cutouts, see if you can identify which foods are fruits. If you said blueberry, apples, banana, watermelon, cherries, strawberries, tomato, pears, pineapple, lemon, or an orange, you're correct. Now let's look at the next food group, grains. Bread, rice, oatmeal, popcorn, pasta, and quinoa. Let's take a look at our food cutouts. Are there any grains? If there are any grains, put them into the respective category on the worksheet. If you said bread and rice, you're correct. Protein is another food group. Commonly we see in protein is fish, beef, chicken, steak, turkey, eggs, and beans. What do we think? Are there any in our food cutouts? If there are, put them into the respected category on the food sort worksheet. If you said eggs, steak, hamburger, hot dog, chicken, or fish, you're correct. The last food group is dairy. Commonly we see milk, cheese, cottage cheese, 
yogurt, and butter. Is there any of these that we can identify through our food cutouts? If there are, put them into the category on the food sort worksheet. If you said cheese, milk, or yogurt, you're correct. Next, I wanna address a category called sometimes foods. Sometimes foods is foods that don't necessarily fit into our well-balanced meal, but they're okay to enjoy every now and then. Foods that are sometimes foods can be like fries, cookies, ice cream, milkshake, pizza, cake, and brownies. What do we think? Are there any sometimes foods in our food cutouts? If you said ice cream, fries, cookies, milkshake, or pizza, you're correct. The next thing I want you to do is take the food sorts that we just did and put them onto your make a plate worksheet to get a well-balanced meal. Here's mine for reference. I also added dairy up here in the corner because remember, it's important that dairy is one of the food groups that we are consuming to have a well-balanced diet. Now for a few tips for healthy eating for preschoolers. Offer a variety of healthy foods. Be mindful of sweet drinks and other foods. Focus on the meal and each other. Be patient with your child. Cook together, eat together, talk together. And all, as always, make mealtime family time. Here are my references. I'd like to take the time to say thank you for listening to my lesson on the food groups and how they apply to a well-balanced meal.